Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are doing a little bit of a renovation challenge. I've got my sim here, her name is Alexia. She's just sort of standing around doing nothing, mainly because she doesn't really have any other choice. This is Alexia's apartment. It's kind of hard to see because it's a rental unit, but it's this kitchen, the living room, bedroom, bathroom and hallway. Oh, although we do have a bookcase and a plant, which I forgot to delete. But we basically have nothing. Not a toilet, not a fridge, nothing. See, my sim here, she really wants to renovate this place. She wants to be able to afford very basic furniture. Only problem is, she's got fuck all skills. And not really a lot of motivation. She's not really a doer, Alexia. She doesn't really like taking on, you know, too many challenges. So we, we kind of want an easy way to make money. So... I am going to be using my relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod to see if we can renovate our apartment just by being a surrogate. We currently have no money. Oh, we're starting to get hungry. That's not great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to register with the agency of surrogate pregnancies. So in The Sims 4, you can actually get paid for being a surrogate. So that's my plan. We're going to go through, well, however many pregnancies it takes, I guess, to renovate this place. I'm not sure exactly how much you get paid. I think it's like a few thousand for every baby that you have for another sim. And each pregnancy is three days long, so I think let's just go ahead. Let's go and get inseminated right now. And then we can then focus on your needs. Because we're going to have like a minimum of three days that we're going to have to fend for ourselves before we actually get any money. Um, who should we have a baby for? Bella, maybe? Bella Goth's baby? Okay, let's go. Hopefully this is successful. We're going to have to travel. Oh, actually, do you know what I'm going to do before you go? I want to try and... Obviously, I want to try and make as much money as possible. So I want to use the resources the game has given me. We don't have any um, satisfaction points, so I can't give us the trait of fertile but what I can do is I can at least give us a helpful lot trait that might double our income twins are born here more often than not okay now I'm assuming that you get paid per baby rather than per pregnancy so okay off you go go and get inseminated so hopefully that increases our chances of making a bit more money Obviously, we can't take a pregnancy test here because we don't have a toilet. We'll have to go somewhere local, a community spot. Are you back already? Oh, dear. We should take a pregnancy test. That didn't seem long enough. But you know what? We're going to go to a community lot. I think we're going to be hopping from various community lots before we have our first baby anyway in order to fill our needs. As soon as we get our first paycheck, that is being spent on a john, a shower and a fridge. Right, let's think about this. Where are we? I mean, if we go to a bar, there's going to be, um, well, a bar. So we can get some free food, we can get some chips, and there's going to be a toilet as well. So we can take our pregnancy test. Right, before we do anything. Oh, we can't afford to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, fine, go and grab some chips. This is where you could really do with having That's some skills, term. because then be you could have awesome. performed for money. I guess if we try and perform a little bit of stand-up, I think people will only give us about two simoleons, but we could do that for long enough to find out if we're pregnant. It, that's right, you just enjoy your little chips. Enjoy your little chips. Now, how am I going to get 15 simoleons? Let's see. Um, oh, you know what I could do, actually? This could be pretty easy. Let's look for some snow globes. If we find a snow globe, I'm sure we could sell it for more than 15 simoleons. That's a lot easier than having to actually actually perform to earn money. All right, we got a snow globe. And how much is it worth? Oh, 10 simoleons. Still not enough for a pregnancy test. And knowing this bitch, knowing the way my sims are, she'll just go ahead and spend it straight away. Okay, what about here? Grab a poster. That'll be worth something. Right, how much is the poster worth? 120 simoleons. Okay, there we go. We can afford to take lots of pregnancy tests. Let's go. I do want all of our income, well, all of the income we spend on the renovation. Hey, well done. It was successful. I want all of the income that we spend on our renovation to be from surrogacy. So, 
Um, I need to try and find a way to spend this money. Oh, it looks like she's already spending it for me. I didn't even ask her to do anything. She's already placed an order for a drink, so... I think this is Alexia's way of telling me not to worry. She's got it taken care of. You do know you're pregnant, right? I know you don't have to raise it, but, you know, this is a bit selfish. Oh! Any preference? Alexia is going to have her first child. She's heard a lot about other families and their dynamics. Perhaps Alexia has hopes for a certain type of child? Alexia hopes for a son or boyish child. A daughter or girly child does not have preference. Let, let's just let fate decide. Let's see what fate thinks. Alexia has embraced a change of family preference. Okay, what do we think? Would be happy to have a child. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't see any preference here. Oh, okay, so it's already selected for me. So now I can see that we would like to have a son. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's not... You need to get your head around this, Alexia. It's not your baby. Okay, let's go use the bathroom. And it looks like we're getting a bit tired, so we're going to have to take a nap. We're just going to have to make the most of, like, benches and chairs around us until we can afford a bed. Sorry about that, Alexia. I know it's not great in your condition, but, you know, this is why we do what we do. Hungry again? Okay, that's great. That means we can spend some money. Let's get some faux. Oh, there's another homeless sim. Look, so many homeless sims in San Myshuno, isn't it sad? Does the baby like spice? She should eat more chopsticks food to develop that finger dexterity. Okay, let's just go take a nap on a public bench. No shame in it. Everyone else seems to be napping. What's that food mood buff? Spicy burn. Oh. Oh, why are you sad? Oh. Pregnancy mood swing. Okay. Right, let's go to the bathroom. We'll grab some more food. I'm guessing the little food stores are closed now. Oh no, they're still open. Okay. Well then we can practice our chopsticks again. She's using chopsticks. Have you just learned how to use chopsticks now? It was only your second time, but you're handling it like a pro now. Let's just chat with the bartender, seeing as we need to fill up our um, social a little bit. Just get to know the bartender. Ask a few questions. Get to know. She's a geek. Ask for, ask for crave food item. Yeah, let's do that. See if he'll give us something. Is he actually going to go get me something? Getting some food. Oh, for ten simoleons. Oh, okay. But at least Bjorn's come with me. What a gent. Yeah, I can see you've queued up. Give yourself a... Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Alexia. Go and have a word with yourself. Sort yourself out. Don't be such a fucking state. How long is this mood swing going to last? 40 minutes. Okay. All right, what can we do that might be fun? Would it be fun if we sang some karaoke? Would you find that fun at all? Yes, you would. Okay, great. All right, let's go to... Let's just go to a gym. Use the shower. Use the toilet. And then I think we might need another nap. Just basic survival at this point. She's embarrassed because someone used some dated memes, apparently. Crusty memes. Oh, Alexia, get a grip. Actually, do you know what? It is quite peaceful down here in the changing rooms. We could probably take a nap down here. How are we doing in our pregnancy? Are we in our... Okay, so in a couple of hours, we're going to be in our second trimester. Well, we've done well surviving trimester one without much money. Once again, we're on the scrounge for some food. We can afford some food, so let's just... I want to see if I can spend as much as I can. Let's get some pasta. I don't want to have any money in my account, but I'm not going to cheat it, so we'll just use what we have, because we did make this money by, you know, going on a little treasure hunt. Plus, we need balanced food. We're having a baby. We can't just eat chips all the time. Right, she seems pretty happy. God, I wish I could go down here. Like these Sims just going about their daily business. Kind of remind me of The Sims 1. <laughs> such high definition, such detail. Should we go blow some bubbles? Oh, Lilith Pleasant there, that bad bitch energy. She want to come join? Call over. Let's get these two fiery redheads together. Oh, maybe this isn't a good idea. We're getting a little bit dazed from using this. Oh, she's coming over. She's a bit tense, but... What's up, Lilith? How's it going? Let's, let's discuss your stressed mood, okay? You seem a bit pissed off. Let's unpack that. Okay, our social is pretty good. Uh, good thing we stayed at the gym, though, because we need to use the bathroom again. Forgot that that's one of those cute little quirks of pregnancy. Let's go and use the bathroom. You better start making your way over there now, because it's quite a way away. Walk all the way back to the gym. Oh, where can I go where I can get, like, a peaceful night's sleep? I mean, what if I go back to my home lot? There might be, like, a bench around there somewhere. Oh, I don't know, it's not going to be peaceful, though, is it? What about the park? There's, get, there's bound to be a bench at the park. 
Okay, we've got a little bit of peace. Time can actually go quickly now, that's good. Take another nap. I'm pretty sure this lot has a kitchen. Yes, it does. So we can just have a quick meal. Um, let's see, what can we go for? How about just, what about some power sip? Might be good for the baby. Unless, wait, is that an energy drink? Oh, I thought maybe it would be like some kind of protein shake or something a bit healthier than that. All right, well, baby's gonna be bouncing around for a while. Let's get some more food. There we go. You know what? We've got everything we need right here. This could just be our home until we have the baby. How are you still hungry? God damn it. Right, let's go get some chips then. Never satisfied this sim. I think we've got everything we need, don't we? Have we got something for fun? I'm sure there must be something here for some fun or not. Not even a chess table. Oh, she decided to pick up a guitar and it's giving her some fun. Okay, fine. Play a little bit of guitar. What are you cooking? Garden salad. Oh, that's good because you're craving healthy food as well. Yes, I think we will squat here until we go into labour, perhaps. Oh, we're in our third trimester. Okay. So I think we're, what, about halfway through? What is it after you get the pop-up saying you'll give birth in question mark? I think it's, it's either like half a day or a full day after that that you give birth. Oh no, did you have an accident? Okay, well let's have a nice bubble bath. I know you're embarrassed. It's almost over. <laughs> have a Sims bladder fail on a lot with five or more toilets. I don't think I've had that, um, that achievement pop-up before. All right, have a nice bath and then we'll get you some food. I don't know why you keep getting all of these negative mood buffs. You literally have everything you need. Okay, how are we doing? Three hours left of trimester three, and we really want to socialize. Any sims around that we could talk to maybe? Oh, here's a sim. Thing is, we can't really travel far because we need the bathroom every fucking five minutes. Okay, all right, I don't want you to have another accident. So let's just, let's go back to that place and use the bathroom. We're just gonna have to call up Lilith on the phone for our socializing. Can't take you anywhere. Right, Lilith. We will have a few chats with Lilith and then we'll check in with Bjorn as well. Literally talking while sat on the throne. Oh shit, we've gone into labor already. Oh, I thought we'd have a bit more time than that. Okay, all right, that's fine. We'll just go home. We can't afford a bassinet. So, um, right, let's just grab a, a quick meal and then we'll go home and we'll just wait out this labor and then hopefully a bassinet will pop up for us. We're doing okay, needs are all in the green so we should be able to last without any resources at our empty flat. Right, I know, I know. You've only got two hours left, okay? So just try and keep it together. Let's go back upstairs. You know, we might make a couple grand off this and then we can buy a fridge, maybe a toilet too. Oh shit, it's coming, it's coming. Nine minutes. Okay, they've provided a complimentary bassinet for the little one. Oh, here we go, it's go time. Time to make some money. Who the fuck are you? Oh, it's the sim that lives next door. The sims who have no money. Are they gonna go woohoo in the closet? A baby girl, okay, okay. Um, We'll call her Penny. Oh, we had two. Thank you, Lotrate. We'll call this one Precious. Bella and Mortimer had twins. Yes, congratulations, Bella and Mortimer. I hope I get paid per baby. Decide to keep child. I don't fucking think so. We are penniless and we're days. Slight disappointment? Alexia was hoping for a son or a boyish child. Considering her child is born a girl, Alexia is a hint disappointed, wondering about the chances that they'd exhibit the traits that Alexia thought would best fit the family dynamic. That's a bit fucking harsh. All right, let's send this one. Eight grand for that baby. Am I gonna get another eight grand then? Yes, I am, 16K. The babies are sort of still here though, um, which is an issue I encountered last time I played with the surrogacy mod. So I'm just gonna go into manage worlds and see if I can just manually move them to the goth family. I don't know why they haven't automatically gone, but we've got 16 grand. Oh, what? The goths already have. Oh, okay, okay, they already have Penny and Precious in their family. So if I try and move them back there, it's like they don't have enough space. But they have two Pennies and two Preciouses. Fucking hell, right, Cassie, you're gonna move out from the goths. You're gonna have to stand on your own two feet now, I'm sorry. Right, Cassie, you can move in with this dude, there we go. And now we've got those babies off our hands. All right, time for some renovating. Oh, actually, no, before I do that, I'm gonna go and um, we're gonna sign up for surrogacy again. 
because I don't think 16k, as nice as it is, I don't think it's enough to fully renovate this place. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go and get inseminated right now. This time we'll carry a baby for... Well, seeing as he's already showed signs of being a caring person, let's go for Bjorn this time. But this pregnancy will be a lot different. This pregnancy... Fuck off, Welcome Wagon. I've got my hands full. This pregnancy will be different because this time we'll be able to have the luxury of being home. Being able to fulfil our needs here. So, let's hop into Build and Buy. I think I've made a little profit off these bassinets as well. Yeah, sorry, I have. Bit cheeky. We can all be a bit cheeky sometimes. Right, let's start with the kitchen. Get some tiles down. I think I would like... I think I would like a blue kitchen. So we'll get some units and then I think I think we could have a little just a little island, couldn't we? Yeah, I think I think baby needs a little kitchen island. Get a little trash can, smoke detector for safety, and then maybe just some I don't know, just some things I can stick on the wall to make it look a, a little bit more lived in. Um, you know, like sort of stuff like that. Maybe something like this. It's cute. Just some little accessory pieces, I guess. And then I think we should probably get, um, should we get a microwave? Yeah, why not? And then maybe a dishwasher. All right, there we go. That's a kitchen. That is a good kitchen, I think. Okay, let's see what we can do in the bathroom. I think we definitely need a bath and shower combo. And we definitely need a toilet. Let's just move a few things around. There we go. Little, little mat there. And then maybe we can just retile this floor. It's all cracked. I mean, that is real safety hazard. You could hurt your toes on, on those. Okay. And then for the living room, I'm just going to get the big expense out of the way and get a nice TV. Maybe a nice curved TV. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And I think perhaps we'll go for wood in here. Okay. Okay. Um, now, all I need... Well, I mean, I want to renovate this whole place, but all I actually like really need is a sofa and a bed so we will get this sofa and then for our bed i mean we need a comfortable bed because we're going to be pregnant most of the time so it has to be a very comfortable bed that looks quite comfortable right can i afford anything else i could possibly afford maybe some privacy in the living room perhaps there we go just a little bit of privacy maybe cheeky coffee table can we afford maybe just a cheeky one? Oh yeah, we can. We can get a cheeky one. Right, okay, this is going to have to do for now. I think this is pretty good going though. We have basically everything we need. Let's go and take a pregnancy test. And we can afford a test this time and then we will get a full session of uninterrupted sleep. Pregnant again. Very nice. Okay, let's go to bed. So once we have our second, um, well, third baby, I suppose, then we can do our bedroom and then the living room still isn't finished. It needs a few furnishings. And then what about the hallway? I mean, the hallway doesn't look too bad. It could do with a fresh lick of paint or maybe some new wallpaper or something, but it's not looking too bad. Oh, we've woken up very uncomfortable from morning sickness. Oh, you're getting quite a bump already. Okay, how about we go throw up, see if we can get some of that, that feeling out. And now we have a fridge, we can actually get some food. In fact, I did say you don't have any life skills. Maybe what we could do is um, we could spend this we could spend this time just learning some basic life skills, you know, like cooking, maybe. Seeing as we don't need to leave the flat anymore to fill our needs. We'll make a nice garden salad. What is your cooking level? Level one, okay. I don't know, I think this pregnancy might just be enough to finish furnishing this place. But it, I guess it depends on whether we have one or two in there. We did have twins before. You never know. Maybe we could invite our new friend Lilith over so she can see our place. Social's getting a bit low. We'll go use the bathroom quickly. Lilith is sleeping. Oh, it's 2am. Completely lost track of time. All right, we'll go and use the bathroom. We should probably clean the toilet. What's your problem now? Terrible food from poorly made food. Well, who do you have to blame for that? That's not my fault. That's on you, you lazy bitch. Why is there a puddle on the floor? Did you did you miss? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Seeing as you don't want to um, eat disgusting food, why don't you go and watch the cooking channel? And maybe, just maybe, you'll learn a thing or two. Why don't you take a bubble bath? 
Just relax, calm yourself. I notice how in her family tree, it's just her, as if she never had children, but then on her milestones, she's got had baby, she's got Penny oh, and Precious. So she's gonna have no one in her family tree, but so many milestones. Mm. If someone just picked this up from like a random save file, they would be so confused. Well, okay, is it too early to invite Lilith round? Lilith Pleasant will be right over, okay, good. Here she comes. Come on in, Lilith. Should we maybe, let's talk about dreams, just to talk about the dream we had last night. Describe a new idea from being so inspired. Why are you leaving to go back in? You guys are being so weird, man. We seem to be really hitting it off with Lilith. I think she could be our new best friend. Should we ask her if she wants to be woohoo partners? Fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound. No harm in trying. You gotta shoot your shot. I think we are- yeah, she is my friend, so, you know, she might be down. Maybe I'll cook her something. What are we making? Tortilla wrapped veggie dog. Cooking level two! All right, eat your little dog, eat your tortilla dog. Enjoy your little dog. Right, uh, Lilith. Where can I find this woohoo partners situation? Ask to be woohoo partners, there we go. Just see what she thinks, just bring it up in casual. Don't be weird about it. Just casual, friendly conversation. Oh, I don't actually know what she said, but I'm gonna read this mood buff. Became woohoo partners. <laughs> Today marks the beginning of her newfound relationship. So if I... Woohoo partners, okay, okay. So does that mean woohoo with Lilith? I haven't even had my first kiss with Lilith. Maybe romance doesn't even come into this. Maybe we'll just woohoo as friends. No feelings, no problem. I don't think she's even, is she gonna ask the question? Would you like to make good on our agreement, Lily? Oh, I think she said yes, oh sweet. Gonna woohoo without having to actually make any effort at all. Genius. I knew we'd hit it off with Lilith. I knew we would. First person? Oh no, not allowed first person. Oh, that's a shame. And then afterwards, I think we'll go and use the bathroom. You guys look exhausted. All right, f Cliff, fuck off, you pervert. I think he, I think he just tried it on and Lilith just wandered away. Okay, needs are still pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Should we maybe do a little, um, let's do a dance video, get a little bit of fitness. It's important to stay fit and healthy for the baby. Oh, okay, we can't. I guess maybe the couch is in the way. All right, well, if we can't do that, then instead, let's, um, let's watch some cooking then. So I'm thinking this pregnancy will probably pay to finish renovating this place, but my sim doesn't ever want to get a job. But that's fine, because I think once we finish renovating, what we'll do is we'll just continue to be a surrogate. So we'll just continue to be a surrogate, and then any payments we receive in the future, we'll just keep in the bank and we'll use it to pay bills. So in theory, we'll never have to work a day in our lives. Why is a raccoon calling me, telling me <laughs> Congratulations for being friends with Lilith Pleasant. That girl, man, she runs in all sorts of crowds. Oh, we're in our second trimester now. I think let's just make some dinner. Um, see, our hunger is going down very quickly. Let's make some dinner. I'm sure by that point we'll probably have to use the bathroom again. And then maybe we'll go to bed. And I think tomorrow we should do a little bit of volunteering. It'd be good to give back. You know, do something nice. Maybe we'll brush our teeth. And then I think we'll get an early night's sleep. There we go. God, life is so much easier when you have things at home. Okay, I know, I know, you really need the bathroom and you really need some food, I know. The joys of pregnancy. Um, what should we have? Um, maybe scrambled egg with bacon? Why not? Cooking level four already? You are smashing it, Alexia. Honestly, it's a shame that you don't want to work because you could go quite far in the culinary career. Ugh. Oh. I was going to say, let's do some volunteering, but you've decided to be irritable. Even though you're perfectly happy and your needs are all full. But sure, yeah, let's just have a few words with ourselves. Try and calm down. Okay, not angry anymore. Let's go and... Let's go and volunteer at a soup kitchen. That might be nice. Oh, and our bills have been delivered, I'm guessing. 500 simoleons, okay. Well, we're gonna have to wait until we give birth to pay those. What should we have for lunch? How about some noodles? We must be almost in our third trimester. In three hours we'll be in our third trimester. She's already walking like she's in her third trimester. Maybe we are having twins. Should we watch the news and find out what's going on in Simland? Oh, looks like there's been some disasters going on in The Sims 3. Protests. 
It's all unfolding now. Shocking. Shocking. Are we are we going to bed? Is that what we've decided? Okay. Another early night then. We could have invited Lilith over, you know, have a little woohoo. No, I understand. You've probably got back pain. Oh, great. Electrical failure. Just what we need in our condition. On the bright side, we probably won't get zapped because the game won't hurt a pregnant woman. Oh shit, she did get electrocuted. <laughs> Okay, all right, we've caused a fire. Don't panic, it's fine. Just use your brain. Get get the fire extinguisher. I didn't think they would electrocute a pregnant sim. All right, just stay calm, stay calm. Don't run out the house, it's gonna burn down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Blame this one on the fucking landlord. Why, why is the game playing sexy music? I received some money, but the game is like playing like sexy music as if we're like, in a rom-com or something. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand what is going on. There isn't even a stereo. The music is just playing for the sake of it. Are they just, are they fire? Are they, are these the kind of, are they just in the job because putting out fires makes them really horny or something? Right, this is, this is ridiculous. Now I can't afford the fridge. The landlord should be paying for a new fridge for me, to be fair. <sighs> Burnt to a crisp now, what the fuck are we gonna eat? Do we risk it and try and fix the TV? Yeah, fuck it, we don't learn our lesson. Let's try again. Okay, I got 86 simoleons from the landlord. Not enough to replace my fridge though, is it? Oh, starting to get hungry as well. Right, well we're not gonna get paid until, what are we? Um, I've got eight hours left of trimester three. So I think we're just gonna have to order a takeaway tonight, cause that's, all we can really afford to do. Can't afford to replace the fridge. Let's do a Zuma's food delivery and um, we'll get, let's just get some spaghetti. Mop up that puddle, I know you're hungry. I know, I'm hungry too. Okay, there's our delivery. You have 24 hours left to pay your bills, great. Well, I think I can actually, I think I can pay my bills because my bills are only 18 simoleons, it's my rent that's overdue. You have 24 hours to pay your rent before it's officially considered overdue. Ah, oh, fuck off, mate. I'm gonna replace my fridge before I pay you anything. Okay, maybe we'll give, um, we'll give Lilith a call, have a little chat with her. Could do with a little bit of a boost on our social. Okay, we paid the bills, bills are taken care of. Only 18 simoleons. Okay, we have four hours left of our third trimester, so I'm thinking let's just go to bed. I know it's only lunchtime, but we are very tired and I don't want you giving birth while you're so tired. Gone into labor, there we go. All right, you only have three hours of labor, so maybe just try and sleep it off. Ugh, hungry again. Well, hopefully, when's this baby being born? 25 minutes, in 25 minutes, we can give the baby to Bjorn and then we'll replace your fridge, okay? Oh, here we go. Will we have twins? Oh, we had another girl. Oh, Alexia won't be happy about that. We'll just call her Sarah. Oh, that's it, just the one this time. Okay. She's come out crying, bless her. I know what you want. You wanna to go to your mummy and daddy, don't you? There we go. Why do I only have the option to decide to keep the child? I don't want to decide to keep child. I want to give the child back to their parents. Okay, I was a bit worried there for a minute, but I've restarted my game because I only had the option to decide to keep child. But now that I've restarted, I do have the option to send the child to their parents. So that's good. Okay, first things first, let's replace this fridge. Unfortunately, that's an expense we kind of had to incur. Maybe we won't try and fix things ourselves too often. And then finally, my landlord, let's just shut him up, we'll pay the rent, and then we'll see if we can finish furnishing this place. All right, let's take a look. So the hallway, I don't really, I don't really need to do much with the hallway. I think just, just a, a fresh lick of paint or something will do. I don't know, maybe just brown. But my main priority is the bedroom, and then I'd quite like to stick a few things in the living room as well. Might just have to use custom content bedside tables, they're the only ones slim enough to fit in those little corners. So let's go for a nice fluffy carpet. Here we go. And then maybe just like blue, blue walls. Little chest of drawers. Actually, I think those curtains look a bit weird. Maybe just some blinds instead. So I would, I'm just gonna put a wall mirror there just because it's quite handy to have. Maybe a few plants. Stick a plant there as well, why not? 
Pop some tissues there for Lilith. A little bit of lotion. Ah, uh, what kind of rug should we have? This is quite a colourful room, so I'm thinking something sort of simple. Okay, that will do. And then maybe we could stick something on the wall. Just to make it feel a little bit more lived in, do you know what I mean? Okay. Pretty happy with the bedroom. I'd consider that done. So really, it's just this room now. I'd quite like to see if I can squeeze a little desk in here, because I don't have any, like, workspace or anything. Okay, nice. I'm sure I had a painting on here. What happened to that? It isn't in my inventory, so I guess it just disappeared, but it was right here. Maybe Lilith stole it. But I just want to put some, like, cluttery things on here. Okay, I think we might be done. I would say that that's pretty furnished apartment. We have everything we need. We've got enough to cover the bills. I mean, I'm sure once we leave Alexia, she'll just carry on doing what she's doing and she'll just be pregnant until she's an elder. Who knows, maybe she'll end up in a massive mansion. But for now, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.